Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful up? day. We got another one coming for you today. This one, I don't know what happened to Dakotas. I didn't see him for a while. I watched him a lot when uh, I was in Fortnite. I mean, I'm sure everybody did. He was huge, but it's why Dakota's career died. So let's hear I it about this. I was going through depression. I was thinking that I just wasn't good enough, that my stream sucked. People don't like me watching me anymore. You know, this is over for me. That's what was going through my mind. I've been streaming on Twitch since 2000. During his peak month of June 2018, Dakotas was averaging 26,000 viewers for every time his Twitch stream would go live. That's Over insane. on YouTube, it was rare for his social blade to display a month totaling less than 15 million views, while gaining 100,000 Twitter followers in a month was simply a regular occurrence. However, despite being without a doubt one of the kindest, most likable figures in the history of Fortnite yeah, streaming, insane. Dakotas has been unable to maintain his relevancy in an industry where entertainment and current interest reign eternally supreme. His his YouTube viewership has fallen by 98% from an average of 15 million views per month to 300,000 views per month. His average Twitch concurrent viewership has fallen by 96% from 26,000 to 1,000, while his Twitter hasn't seen any positive growth in more than 180 days. Initially, we suspected that his decline was simply due to a decreasing interest in Fortnite. However, after digging a little deeper, much of it seems to be the result of alcohol addiction, messy breakups, and strange geographic circumstances between oh, wow. France and the US. On top of all that, there was a host of mental health issues such as depression and anxiety. This video will be a harsh reminder about how volatile we are as human beings, as well as how risky and transitory a career in gaming truly is. I've been streaming on Twitch since 2012. I started this adventure when there wasn't like a lot of people streaming and there wasn't alerts popping. While Fortnite would become the game that Dakotas was most known for, he was no stranger to the battle royale genre leading up to Fortnite's release. Dakotas had been streaming and uploading videos on a third person battle royale style zombie game titled War Z, dating all the way back to 2012. In the beginning, Dakotas had been streaming part time while working a job waiting tables. However, after receiving a $500 stream donation, to buy some new computer gear, Dakota's decided to go full time on Twitch. You dropped $500 for me to buy new headphones because my, my microphone was a $2 mic. I quit my job like the next day. One of the few surviving Dakota's live stream clips from 2013 is titled Dakota's Live on Stream Passing Out from Vodka. And while this could be easily dismissed as some hilarious stream shenanigans from a younger, less mature Dakota's, it also gave us an insight into both his personality and his early streaming career. We can see that by May 2013, approximately a year after beginning his streaming journey, Journey, he was averaging around 500 viewers per stream on Twitch, was friends with Summit 1G as shown in the chat, but most interestingly, was the kind of guy who could drink himself to blackout on stream. While this is probably just a one-off Friday or Saturday night and was far from a regular occurrence, it was an example showing that Dakotas might not have been very good at controlling himself when it came to alcohol. Over on YouTube, a screenshot from as far back as October 2013 shows Dakotas having gained 17,000 subscribers, an impressive number considering he had only started the channel 10 months prior in January 2013. Dakotas would switch to PUBG. GG, guys. Another win, man. Let's do this. Giving him even further experience in the Battle Royale genre. And by September 2017, we're sitting at around 90,000 subscribers on YouTube and 100,000 followers on Twitch. However, despite having a reasonable fan base in terms of followers, Dakotas explained that his average Twitch viewership had declined dramatically since he started streaming. And then my stream kind of died. You know, like I went through like depression and stuff. Like it died. I went from 2,000 viewers to like 100. As mentioned, much of the decline had been attributed to depression, or alternatively, perhaps the depression was actually a result of the declining audience. But regardless, it might have been an early indicator that Dakotas was more prone to a depressive episode than the average person. The decline of Dakotas' viewership during the PUBG days also led to the removal of Dakotas' face cam for reasons outlined in the following clip. I got a lot of like abuse from people saying my stream was dead. So I turned my camera off just so I wouldn't give people reaction they were looking for. Because it was just it was kind of brutal to deal with it. In addition to this, Dakotas had moved to France to be in a relationship rough. with a girl he had met from there and explained that removing the face cam was helpful for his relationship. Like, a lot of women were very flirty and said I looked, you know, like very flirty comments mm. and it kind of caused some tension in my relationship. So, you know, turning my webcam off was a helpful thing for my relationship. But while a depressed Dakotas who had been bullied out of using a face cam was far from a positive scenario, each of these would represent a dark before the dawn. And in September 2017, a game would be released that Dakotas had a quote, special feeling about. I played off stream that night and I got like, a, I got like a special feeling when playing. I was like, 
This game's special. Like, I, I can tell it's special. But while Dakota's had a special feeling about Fortnite after it first released, Dota most games. didn't feel the same way. Literally, no one's playing it. No one likes it. Everyone's calling it Disney game. Oh, you know, PUBG's better. Switching to Fortnite was going to be a massive risk for Dakota. I never His stream was PUBG. almost dead I, already. I, then he starts playing something that the remaining audience doesn't like. Sounds like somewhat of a career-ending move. However, the advantage that Dakota's mm -hmm. had was that he genuinely <laughs> loved and enjoyed the game, and therefore had the motivation to begin making YouTube videos on it, regardless of whether or not his stream liked it. I haven't even won a game yet on stream. This is pitiful, guys. Just pitiful. seeing these old I'm gonna clips try and win a game. And since Dakota's so had a genuine interest in the game, he'd probably be less concerned about the performance of the content, since he was simply enjoying the process of making oh, it. Yeah. This would ironically work in his favor, as his audience noticed something. If he was willing to let his channel die for the game he was playing, he must really enjoy the game. And this genuine enjoyment for the game passed through to the content and made watching his Fortnite videos far more enjoyable. Dude, this game is number one right now. There's no better game right now than Fortnite, in my opinion. This, in addition to the fact Yikes. that no one was making any videos on Fortnite in the beginning, caused his view count to surge from the moment that Fortnite was released. I start making YouTube videos where nobody's making videos for this game. My YouTube's going from like a thousand views a video to 30,000 instantly. It had taken him five years to hit 100,000 subscribers. However, only two months after Fortnite's released, Dakotas had passed 500,000 subscribers with every video on the channel, averaging three to 500,000 views each. This game is legit the best game I've ever played. The best game I've ever played. To think that we're in this game is just, I can't even believe it's real, man. This view count on YouTube then translated into more people finding his streams over on Twitch. 60 viewers, 200 viewers, 400 viewers, 2,000 viewers. And then the next day it's 20,000 viewers. You know, I was there before everyone. And the higher Twitch viewership gave him the ability to play with other larger streamers, such as High Distortion, Ninja, Fish and was see. even responsible for kickstarting Daquan's Fortnite career after that. meeting him in a random squad game. I yep. queued up in a random squad and Daquan was the only one that would talk. And then we became friends. The first Fortnite skirmishes, you know, I got him into it. Only five months after the release of Fortnite, that. Dakotas would hit 1 million subscribers and upload a video celebrating the achievement, which included a face reveal. This is what I look like. Thank you for the 1 million. I appreciate it, guys. As he hadn't streamed or uploaded a single video with his face in it since removing face cam in the days of PUBG. However, at the same point in time, literally only seven months into his explosion, Dakotas would sadly return to the dark place that he'd been in prior to the release of Fortnite. About seven months in, I was like, I can't do this anymore. My health started to decline. Like, I, I had a permanent pain in my brain. My health was just going down. At some point between April and June 2018, when Dakota's Twitch and YouTube statistics were at their highest in his career, the depression that Dakota's had struggled with in the past popped its head back up once again, adding an extra burden to the content creation process. Dakota's maintained his daily stream and Fortnite YouTube upload, presenting a facade that he was doing fine, however later explained that once the stream had been turned off, his happy, hyped up personality completely disappeared. I'm going from this high to just nothing. But as soon as my stream ends, there's silence. And then there's my reality, which is despair. For this reason, Dakota stated that he gained a lot of weight and didn't leave his house for eight months. For eight months, I literally didn't walk out the door. I'm talking like eight months straight, I didn't walk out the front door. Plus, when he did finally go out, his anxiety seemed to make him terrified of being recognized by fans. I actually had a panic attack because two people noticed me who were at the register. They knew I was Dakota's. Unsurprisingly, as his mental health declined, his monthly view count on YouTube and average viewers on Twitch also began to decline. In fact, when looking at his Twitch graph from the last three and a half years, you can almost pinpoint the exact moment at which his mental health began to decline. Now, as stated with the first decline while he was playing PUBG, perhaps Dakotas had messed up his own interpretation and a decline in views was actually causing the depression. But regardless, the problem was that if his mental health was already bad, then a decline in his career was going to begin a vicious downward spiral, which was exactly what seemed to happen. But it also is bad because if you start going down, it feeds into the down like you're doing bad. By studying his monthly hours streamed, we can observe that Dakotas has a very disciplined work ethic and seems to stream regardless of whether or not he feels like it. However, when observing the difference in his hour stream between May 2018 and May 2020, we can see that Dakotas began to stream fewer and fewer hours per month as time progressed. Over on YouTube, as 2019 began, his viewership decline was substantially more pronounced. In the four months between February 2019 and June 2019, Dakotas went from 8 to 10 million views per month to around 3 million views per month. Additionally, his circumstances were about That's to rough. get even more difficult as the amount of time required in North Carolina, That's rough, this man. insulin costs I feel for 200 Because, I mean, I, I used to watch him on stream a lot. I used to watch some of his YouTube videos. And, like, man made good content. It was always entertaining to watch. He was always playing with different great, great players. So, I mean, the fact that he was battling through all of this stuff and was still able to stream and put out good content 
is just insane for this man. I feel for him. Keep his streaming career afloat, which ultimately lead to neglect and end of his relationship. I'm chasing dreams, and mm. I had to chase that for me, you know, and I did. But ultimately, I'm single, so. <laughs> in a tweet made at a later date, Dakotas would explain that he had been in the relationship for eight years, so the end of it wasn't exactly going to be a positive for his already poor mental health. Dakota's French visa would then expire, forcing him to return to the U.S. However, most of his belongings were left in France, which in the short term seemingly led to a decline in the quality of his streams. An article regarding Dakota's the popular Twitch streamer often seen playing Fortnite has been a bit flat and unenthusiastic in recent months, often disappearing in the middle of streams and sometimes even vomiting off camera. With regards to the vicious cycle mentioned earlier, the lower quality streams led to lower average viewership on Twitch and lower video views over on YouTube. In addition to his growing list of Twitch and YouTube related problems, by the end of 2019, around the beginning of chapter 2, Dakotas began to express a dislike towards the direction in which Fortnite had been going, making tweets like, Fortnite is hot garbage right now, or also stating that the game had lost its soul and turned into a giant advertisement for singers and movies. I feel like Fortnite's lost its soul. It's just kind of like this walking advertisement for Star Wars, for Marvel, for musicians. And it's like, that's what it is now. Dakota stuck with Fortnite for about a year after the release of Chapter 2. However, as a man, uh, I don't know. Some of those early concerts were, were, were really, really wave. cool. Great this worked momentarily. However, like, unfortunately, there were two problems with this. Firstly, Among Us died faster than anyone ever Among expected. Us did and secondly, fast. everyone could sense that he was just chasing the short term Among Us popularity and didn't have that genuine interest in playing the game like in the early days of Fortnite. And this second point I mean, is such a you. common no theme that every you single feel like watched. Up Fortnite, Fortnite did streamer. at the beginning. They all switch to a new game that you can tell that they don't really genuinely enjoy, and it just comes off as super inauthentic. I'm guilty of this too. Every YouTuber thinks they can fool the audience by simply making content on a trending topic or whatever's popular, but the people watching seem to be able to see through the facade before they even click on the video. Chasing the short-term popularity of Among Us seemed to work well for influencers outside of gaming like KSI, Corpse Husband, PewDiePie, Mr. Beast, but was unfortunately met with far less success from former Fortnite streamers like Dakotas. At around the same point, point in time is when Dakotas was switching to Among Us, he would open up to his Twitter following in somewhat of a shocking tweet stating, I'm officially 52 days sober. I'm sorry to my stream for disappearing so much midstreams and puking a ton. I was silently fighting something and doing my best to hide it from everyone. I'm back on cam and feel stronger than ever, just wanted to share. Dakotas hadn't specified what he was 52 days sober from, but the tweet seemed to imply that he'd been battling with an alcohol problem for an unspecified period of time. Thankfully, his fan base responded positively to the vulnerable tweet, meeting Dakotas with an overwhelming amount of support. The tweet was covered in a few different articles, giving Dakotas a little bit of exposure, however unfortunately not enough to slow the decline of his channel. In recent times, after approximately 10 months of uploading Among Us, Dakotas attempted to return to Fortnite in a video titled The Return to the Fortnite Days. Who gets nostalgia when I'm doing this? However, the video performed poorly comparative to his heyday in 2018. Unfortunately, his total subscriber That's count rough. has fallen from 3 million and 60,000 subscribers to 2 million 860,000 subscribers, while his Twitch streams garner an average current viewership of around a thousand. However, we shouldn't sit here and dance on his grave if we can avoid it. Dakotas is without a doubt one of the most kind-hearted, well-intended streamers who got caught up in a personal battle with his own demons at the most unfortunate time possible. Thankfully, recalling back to the beginning of our story, Dakotas went through a similar experience in the PUBG days, going from 2,000 average viewers to 50 average viewers, thinking it was over for him before he would have a viewership explosion out of nowhere thanks to the release of Fortnite. Another Fortnite might be around the corner for Dakotas, but there's no way to know it until it's actually actually released. It's cliche, but it's always darkest before the dawn. You always find the best ideas at rock bottom. So just keep on going, Dakotas. Keep up the hustle. The suffering will sort itself out if you simply refuse to quit. There's people going through the same problems I am. Anxiety, problems, depression. We are all kind of alike. Like we're all just trying to make it in this crazy world, you know? Very true. If you have any loved ones that battle with that, make sure you reach out to them. Tell them to love them. Something like that. Hey, thank you guys for watching that with me. That's all for this one. I will see you guys in the next one.